Hey guys, I am Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to see what is pipeline in Apache Beam. So what is pipeline? How does that help and how does that make uh, developers uh, life easy? So we will see all this, all, all the things related to pipeline in this video. And additionally, I just wanted to give you a small introduction on cloud data flow uh, big data gcp services it is the one of like it is one of the most popular service in gcp uh, that is used to construct uh, data processing pipelines for both streaming as well as batch so uh, we will talk more about uh, cloud data flow and how to construct a pipeline uh, how, how to construct a pipeline in uh, uh, apache beam using python sdk without any further delay let's get started with today's video so what is pipeline a pipeline is nothing but it encapsulates your entire data processing tasks from start to finish so it it has all the details it has all the details from your pipeline starts till it finish that is what a pipeline means so this includes reading input data transforming that data and writing output data basically it contains all the like reading input data uh, doing pre-processing and writing the data to the uh, desired output location may either it may be uh, GCS bucket or uh, if it is streaming maybe it may be Google pubs up all those things so the next point is all beam driver programs must create a pipeline so basically this is the uh, uh, this is the requirement basic requirement is if you wanted to write a beam code uh, that should contain a pipeline so when you create the pipeline you also specify the execution option that the pipeline where and how to run so uh, so people who watched the previous video they might have heard about what is runner so runner is nothing but um, the beam code after writing beam code like where will where we wanted that code to run whether it is in cloud data flow or apache spark or apache spring basically it talks about the runner so the runner needs some certain pipeline options those pipeline options will be given or passed as an uh, argument inside the uh, pipeline uh, once the pipeline object is created we will be passing that arguments so next thing is a beam pipeline we'll talk more about a beam pipeline a beam pipeline is a graph a specifically a directed acyclic graph of all the data on computation computations in your data processing task so what is directed acyclic graph it is nothing but it is a straightforward and uh, it will not re like it will not come to the it will not connect the other edges it will be like uh, uh, only go one way it will be like this straight only it will not come again this will not come again that is what directed acyclic graph means so uh, again it includes input data transforming the data and writing output data everything will be in only go only one way so a pipeline is constructed by using SDK inferences like Python SDK, Java SDK, Go SDK. For this pipe playlist, I'll be using uh, Python SDK and the runner will be Cloud Dataflow Runner or a, G a cloud platform. So this is the uh, this is the pi uh, Python, uh, this is the SDK and this is the runner I'll be using in this entire playlist. So then we'll be seeing this is a simplest uh, 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 representation what is a pipeline so the database input data and that will be in the form of p collection so i'll talk more about p collection in the next video so to give you a small like to give you a small explanation what is p collection is it is an immutable object and basically p collection is where the data is sold and it will be moved from one step to another step inside beam pipeline using p collection so the data is ran, the data is read in the form of p collection and it will be moved to next step in the pipeline for further transformation and then to further transformation and then it will that p collection will be returned to uh, output location maybe gcs bucket all those things so the people who missed what is inter like to people who missed the introduction to apache beam basically i'll give that link over it you can take a look at that video before continuing further so in this diagram the boxes represent the parallel computations so in apache beam as well as cloud data flow uh, parallel computation like it will everything will happen parallel in parallel trans, uh, trans computations called p transforms and the arrows with the circle represent the data in the form of p collection that flows between transform this is the p collection and then the data might be bounded this data 
P collection may the data in the P collection it might be either bounded or unbounded unbounded in the sense streaming data or stored data sets or uh, databases all those things details uh, most transform like in beam most transforms like most transforms can be uh, applied for both bounded and unbounded data so a beam driver program typically starts by creating a pipeline object and then uses that object as a basis for creating the pipeline data set and its transform to we will see a small sample program to justify this one so a beam driver program typically starts by creating a pipeline object i have imported apache beam as beam and i am creating an object called p1 and i am um, creating a pipeline object p1 is my pipeline object and i'm creating a pipeline beam dot pipeline and then uses the object as a basis for creating the pipeline data set and it transforms so i am using that p uh, p1 as the object and then i am using that as a basis for creating data sets and doing transformation so i am reading data set uh, grocery dot text using beam dot io read from text i am basing making some transformations to it i am filtering out the data and filtered data will be stored to uh, this look this file regular underscore filter dot text so this is what a uh, pipeline in apache beam looks like so the yellow line uh, the yellow line represents the pipeline so all these things importing apache beam like this may be not include a part of this pipeline but from this from external resources to p1 dot includes pipeline and the red red box includes the split the record and filter regular it includes uh, uh, transformation functions and blue creating the pipeline object p1 is the pipeline object created so now we will talk about cloud data flow so cloud data flow again it is an unified stream and batch data processing that's that is serverless fast and cost effective remember in cloud data flow everything will be in the form of parallel processing and fully managed it is physically fully managed data processing service and automated provisioning and managing of processing resources so it will take care of uh, all the resources in by itself we don't need to specifically mention any like how many run workers how many no, nodes all those things we don't need to manage it will automatically take care of all those things if the data is used basically the worker nodes will be high and it will be horizontally the auto scale of workers will be horizontally and it makes sure the maximum resource has been utilized and oss community diamond like apache beam sdk will be used in cloud data flow and the last point is it is reliable and consistent exactly once processing so it is we can rely on it and it is mainly used for both stream as well as batch processing data so this is the service cloud data flow uh, you can find the service in big data services in gcp so basically i have given some resource links you can if you wanted to learn more about a pipeline objects or creating or what is configuring pipeline you can take a look at this resources now we can see how to implement this practically uh, inside uh, in in google collab so i have given this link in the description resource link you can take from there and you can look at it so now like i have i have implemented uh, sorry uh, installed apache beam so requirement already sent me i am now importing apache beam as beam and i am creating a function this is uh, p collection i have uh, i have created a separate video on p collection i'll give that link uh, basically in this description box you can take it uh, and read what is p collection and then you will understand it like i'm creating a, a simple pipeline a simple dictionary based object and i'm uh, creating a filter on the duration if the duration is perennial i'll filter that data and I'll, i'm printing that data here perennial this is a simple pipeline uh, i'm creating a data and i'm may, may using some filter transformation and i'm just printing the data it's very simple program and there is an another show like uh, grocery text so this is grocery text data it consists of ident identifier item weight like this related to grocery details so i'm basically i'm um, reading the text i'm creating an uh, uh, pipeline object and i'm using it and i'm reading data from grocery dot text i'm skipping the header lines one like this what the, like it will basically skip this header line and then it will split this record come based on the comma value like it will split the record and then i'm filtering it value like this grocery store is nothing but like i'm filtering it with grocery store so if you see um supermarket grocery store I'm basically uh, using a filter here so we will 
talk more about transformations in the up upcoming session this is a very simple program which i have done it and i am writing it to regular underscore filter dot txt and then i am running the pipeline object i am running the pipeline so this will create me an uh, out like regular filter here so basically i need to refresh it refresh if you can see here no so basically to view that list and the cat So there is some issue here I can show you it here like I have using uh, so I can show it here so uh, so this is what pipeline is uh, basically uh, this is what uh, pipeline here so that's it for today's video I hope you learn something new from this video and uh, if you have any questions or any doubts Please uh, mark. Please uh, post that question in the comment section. Basically, I'll take a look at it and uh, uh, reply to it as soon as possible. So, if you like, like, please do like, comment, uh, share, and subscribe to Cloud AI Analytics. If you have any questions or any doubts, please drop that in comment section. And uh, uh, like, I hope you learn something new from this video. So, I'll see you on the next video. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, it's bye from Vignesh. Uh, take care. Happy learning.